Hello people, I'm Sablast. Today we are talking about how did Varg record his double bass pattern on his double bass pattern parts in his songs. Uh, of course, I do not know if that is true, but uh, when I was still a guy who did not have internet and when, when we were talking as young metalheads, there was a rumor spreading that he recorded his bass drum using only one single pedal and not a bass drum. As we got internet, we actually found his diaries, his libraries and where he says how he recorded drums. So we know that he borrowed his drum set from uh, his old funeral drummer and that he learned how to play air drum to learn how to drum. But I can tell you playing Hesu Toth, if I uh, pronounce it correctly, is not that easy because you have to go constant double bass on, I think, 160 BPM. And some people think that he even did not record the drums because it requires a lot of practice to be able to do that. I won't go into detail about that because I don't want to get attacked by Warg. And this video we are filming today is only how I think how we presume that he recorded his double bass because we can find that on the internet, mostly on Encyclopedia Metallum and I even got some comments on my YouTube channel how he recorded his double bass pattern. So we don't know if it's actually true, but I think it's pretty interesting how we believe it's true and the thing you can do if you own only one single pedal. Uh, but before we go into recordings, uh, we, I just want to address the rumors if he actually recorded the drums. I don't know, we cannot never tell. Uh, I'm 50-50 about it, I don't want to get attacked by him. But uh, main argument about his drum recordings and that he actually did record real drums is that he went out of tempo on some drum parts. But I can tell you from my experience that when I actually use drum machines and drum software, blah, 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 I went, actually went out of tempo on purpose. So I actually did that on my digital audio workstation that I go out of tempo on drums on purpose because it actually creates some rawness and you know me, I'm saluting mistakes in black metal highly. So uh, let's go now, how he recorded his how we think he recorded his double bass pedals. So he played eight notes on his single pedal, quarter notes on the hi-hat, and every second beat he uh, played the snare. So two and four, one, two, three, four, and eight hits on the double, on the single bass drum. Single pedal. He recorded that and then he recorded only playing 8 notes on his double bass for the second track. And then probably his audio engineer took his, the first piece and lined up the second part, his only 8 notes, so it goes between, one bass drum goes between two bass drums, so you get uh, dubbed bass pattern. Sounds like this. think that's how he recorded I think it's pretty interesting and yet again you can get a nice uh, nice double bass uh, practice uh, exercise for drums and people that's it I think uh, this thing is pretty interesting and I wanted to share with share it with you guys Till next time, I'm Sablas, and see ya!